Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well and I want to thank you very much for tuning into my channel and for all of the support that you have given me. It really does mean a lot to me. In this video we're going to be doing an unboxing and this is a package that was actually sent to me by a company called Americas and they're in charge of the distribution for a few different niche brands. These brands are Jovoy, uh, there's another one called Jeroboam, another one called Floris and you may find a lot of these fragrances at New York. I know New York for a fact carries uh, Jovoy and they can also be found at Lucky Scent or the Scent Bar. So I'm really excited to open up this package, let you guys know what I think about these fragrances that were actually sent to me and uh, I got in contact with the company not too long ago and they agreed to send me a few samples so that I can do an unboxing on my channel and let you know what I think about these fragrances. I'm also going to leave a link down below to where you can find their company online. Uh, and it's Americas with a K I N C dot com. Once again, all that information will be down below. So, with that being said, no further ado, let's go ahead and open up the package and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about these fragrances. So, I've been meaning to do an unboxing on this for a few days now and I'm really excited to see what the contents of this box are. So, here's a nice little note uh, that was sent to me on the inside. Um, really nice sentiment, so I want to thank you very much for that. It means a lot to me. And let's see what's inside the box. So very nicely packaged are some samples of florist fragrances. So let me just make sure that these are all florist fragrances. And they are really cool. And then here we also have some Jeroboam fragrances. And these are nice little bottles. It seems like they carry a good amount of liquid in them. So I'm really excited to try these out. So. I have a few fragrances here in front of me and I want to thank you once again very much for the generosity and I want to see if I can do a very quick first impression on all of these fragrances and let you know what I think about them. So I guess we'll start things off with Floris. Luckily I just showered so I'm not wearing any fragrances right now so I can try these on and uh, let you guys know what I think just right off the bat. So this one is called Leather Oud. And there is some information on the inside, so I'm not going to go at length in describing it, but uh, let's go ahead and try it out on skin. I'll, I'll let you know what I think. So this is a really nice oud base scent. And I smell the leather and the oud just as much. And they're both working in harmony with one another. And I think I want to say that the leather is probably a little bit stronger than the oud. I know it here mentions that it was created with oud oil from a certified sustainable source of agarwood and this oil is among the most expensive in the perfumer's palette with deep qualities found in no other oil and it is indeed opulent. It produces a very rich sort of a smell and I mean rich in um, how strong it is but also in the quality of the oil itself. I think this is a really gorgeous scent and I'm certainly looking forward to trying the other florist scents. This one is called Honey Oud and I was actually looking this one up online and uh, some people were making comparisons to um, a Mantau fragrance called Honey Oud. So I want to see if there is indeed a connection between the two and how similar they are because I absolutely love the Mantau fragrance. So you have a really nice honeyed sweetness up on top and there's a subtle quality about it too. Now, while I do sense an agarwood note in the base, it's not offensive nor overly strong, which I think is something that's going to make this appealing to a lot of people. Overall, I think this one is a winner as well. As well. The next one is called German Street, and I think this is a more exclusive fragrance from what I remember hearing uh, from uh, the person with whom I've been communicating about this brand, and I'm excited to try this one. Wow. This is definitely a very bright, open, accommodating, uplifting, citrusy, somewhat floral sort of scent. And I want to see if, oh, it does indeed have a few notes listed in here. And it's a citrus green, so it confirms my suspicion. There is bergamot, mandarin, green vetiver, and violet. And I certainly smell a lot of vetiver. It actually reminds me of another fragrance, which I think I have right here, uh, Guerlain's Vetiver. And it's a very nice, fresh, clean sort of a scent. Um, it's one that I think people can wear with a lot of ease. And so far, I'm really liking the diversity among these scents. And the last one is called Palm Springs. Not from the name, it evokes a very fresh sort of citrusy, aquatic, summery scent. 
and lately I have been craving those quite a bit. So I'm really excited to see if this one is along the lines of what I expect it to smell like. Now I'm not going to look at what's inside the booklet because I just want to go off my initial impressions first without being influenced too much. Oh, okay, so it has a sharp quality about it. There's a freshness to it, but there's a green overtone about it. I can't quite tell if it's like fir or oak moss. There's just something about it. So let's see uh, what's in here. Okay, so, oh, bergamot clove. Yeah, neroli, orange, pettigrain, Carnation Lavender. I think I do get the lavender. Elang Elang, Amber Musk, Patchouli, and Vanilla. It's not overly sweet, but I have the impression that if I give it a chance to dry down, which I will, I think the sweetness will become more apparent. So overall, I think this is a really nice scent. So far, my favorites are the Leather Oud, the Honey Oud, and believe it or not, I actually do like German Street a lot. So let's go ahead and move on to the Jeroboam scents. So this one is called Original, and once again, I just want to thank you. These are very generously sized samples. So. Ooh, this is nice. This has a, a sugary sweetness about it. This Original, I do apologize if, I, if I'm way off. But it actually reminds me a lot of CH for Men by Carolina Herrera. How you have that leathery, sugary combination. This is nice. I would even go as far as saying this is probably the niche version of CH for Men by Carolina Herrera. And I could just anticipate getting a lot of compliments while wearing this fragrance. This is really nice. I can't stop swelling my arm. Wow, so far this house is certainly a winner. Uh, this one is called Insula. So. Let's see what this one is all about. Mm. This has a nice uh, amber quality about it. It's sweet, it's ambery. It kind of reminds me of like a toned down Ragba by La Tapa Perfumes. It's nice, it's a little spicy. It, it even reminds me of a flavor of hookah that I've tried many, many years ago. And I think this fragrance could have been called Ambre Narguile. But um, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much more about that. So far, I'm loving what I'm smelling from this company. This one is called Mixado. Mixado. M-I-K-S-A-D-O. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this has a very strong um, animalistic quality about it. In the beginning, there was something pungent about it, but in a really good way. So far, I'm really enjoying and appreciating the blend and the craftsmanship behind many of these Jeroboam fragrances. And so far, this company has certainly left me intrigued. There's a bright quality about it. There's a spicy quality about it, too. Oh wow, this is such an interesting blend. I really can't discuss this at length. I thought it was an animalistic uh, fragrance when I first smelled it, but now I'm having second thoughts. I'm really questioning myself. <sighs> wow, I just think this is a gorgeous scent. Um, really fantastic blend of notes in that one. This one is called Hauto. And... Okay, smells a little feminine. Just going off here, I, I feel like there's a floral component to it. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is a strong floral. I do have to say this isn't my favorite, but I would love to smell this on my wife. Hmm. It, it has a very strong floral quality about it. Unfortunately, I can't quite put my finger on what floral note I'm smelling in particular. Could be gardenia. I know gardenia in many cases is a fantasy note. <sighs> really nice smell. Really nice blend of notes. Uh, again, not one of my favorites, but 
I appreciate it for what it is. I love it. And the last one is Oriental. So this might just be what the name implies. It might be an Oriental fragrance. Uh, so I'm thinking notes of vanilla and patchouli. So let's see if it confirms my suspicions. I'm actually running out of skin here, so. Ooh, okay. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Man, this is a gorgeous scent. Oriental is fantastic. I get a lot of rose. <laughs> and it smells like a Montal rose. So I don't know if you're familiar with the House of Montal, but a lot of their fragrances, like Red Aoud, which this one has pretty, pretty good resemblance to. It has a really strong resemblance to Red Aoud. So um, <laughs> those of you who know me know that I'm a huge fan of Red Aoud and I have a bottle of it. So as much as I love this fragrance, I don't know if I would purchase it just because I think it may be a redundant purchase, but I can smell just off the quality and my skin looks really oily so I can tell usually that's an indication of the concentration and how well it's going to perform on your skin. But this one smells a lot like Red Aoud by Montau. So suffice it to say that I love this one. I love Oriento. I'm definitely picking up on the patchouli. I'm not really getting a lot of vanilla. But I am getting like the sweet gingerbread cookie type nature that I get from Red Aoud in the base. Overall, I think it's a spectacular scent. And I'm really impressed by what I'm smelling here. So here we have it, two companies. Uh, we have Floris and we have Jarabone. I think these are just phenomenal fragrances. I mean, I am in olfactory overwhelmment. Uh, I just, I'm super overwhelmed, but in the best possible way of all these fantastic fragrances that I'm now having the opportunity to have in my possession. I really can't make up on my, my mind. I, I really can't make up my mind about which fragrance I would love to purchase or I would love to get my hands on. So I just want to take a moment to once again thank you very much Americas for providing me with this wonderful opportunity and I look forward to talking more about one of these companies on my channel and I also want to especially thank the viewers at home. Uh, really without your support and viewership this channel would be nothing. So I want to thank you very much and I also want to encourage everyone watching this video to please subscribe. I have a lot of future videos, a lot of future content coming up on my channel. I have a giveaway coming up on my channel as well. So thank you all very much for tuning in and please stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you soon. Take care.